Hello everyone, hope you're all well and safe. Um, I'm Lucas and this is Ella and today we are Elka's Dance Collective and we'll be creating an improvisation score and also create the task. So if you'd like to pick a space where you can move around and some water and also if you go and find an object um, within your house to do the creative task. So that could either be a water bottle, a notebook. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Perfect, so I'm going to guide you through a um, guided improvisation to start off with, just to get our bodies moving before then um, going into the creative task. Um, so first of all, I want you to stand in the space, um, kind of relax your body and close your eyes. Um, and then I'm just going to guide you through improvisation. Uh, so starting with isolation of the body parts, so we're going to start with the head. Be really careful because this is kind of just getting into it, so easing into the movement. Thinking about where your head can go, all the spirals. Just keeping it quite soft to start off with. Good. And keep doing that for a second. Keep breathing. And let that take you into the spine now. So let the head lead in the spine forward. Just to open up. Again, being a bit careful here. Just a warm up, rolling up the spine, thinking about the vertebra. Rolling down, rolling back up, whatever you feel your body needs at the moment. Arching, curving, making sure the spine and the head are leading. All the spine is leading and the head is following. Tuning these two body parts together. And then from here we're going to add in the shoulders. Keep thinking about the head and the spine as well. And now bring you in the shoulders to do it a bit more. You can lead with the shoulders, the shoulders can follow. Just thinking about that relationship with each of these three body parts that we've just woken up in this short improvisation. And adding in the elbows as well to this. So shoulders, elbows, spine, and the head all together. Again, you can leave with the elbows, or you can leave with the head and the elbows below, or the spine. Thinking about all of these continuing to move together. One affects the other. Thinking about the ways the elbows can move outside and like internal and external and now bring in the hands and the wrists as well as the elbows keeping the head and the spine engaged just an exploration of now your upper body your head your spine your shoulders your elbows your hands Thinking of your fingers, the articulation of the spine. How this can be replicated through the fingers and the spine at the same time. Keep breathing. Give your body what it needs. If you need to stop for a minute and stretch, feel free. This moment's for you to just explore. Just keep exploring here. There might be a few clicks somewhere. I know that was for me. Put my body back into it. And now adding in the pelvis as well. Not forgetting about the head, which is also often the case when you're moving your pelvis. Forget about that relationship. Pelvis, spine, and head. Don't forget about the fingers. The articulation of the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists and the spine that keeps going. Just 
You need to stretch part of your pelvis and feel free. Getting low, getting into your body, into your knees there. Drop your pelvis down. Nice. Keeping yourself a bit grounded in the feet. Keep exploring the spine and the elbows and the wrists and the shoulders and the head. Now I'm going to bring in the legs and the feet. Exploring that. What happens when you take yourself off balance? What happens if you drop your pelvis low and lift your feet off? What relationship does that have to your head? And your spine and your shoulders and your elbows. Always think about relationships. Your head and tail relationship. Relationship with your spine and your feet. Always thinking about this mind to muscle connection. Keep going. Just gonna let you explore a bit more with some music now. Let's keep Just 
left, middle, right. You might be feeling a lot warmer now. I know I am. Nice. Give it a shake. Oh, opening the door. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a little something to get us moving. I know that improvisation is something that is hard when you're by yourself because you don't get that like the guidance from anyone so I hope that was really helpful feel free to use it whenever I'm going to pass over to Lucas now for the creative task you just have a grip of water first yeah I'm very hot now <laughs> um so now if you you've already got your object um yeah or if you go and find an object now and you have time to, it can be literally anything. It can be a box, it can be a book, it can be a water bottle, anything close to hand. Photograph. I have a book I'm going to use. Um, so this creative task is very open, very <coughs> easy to do. So I'm just asking you to pick an object, any object you'd like, a cushion, a blanket, anything you'd like, and to create six movements with this object. So that could be a simple one, two, three, four, five, six. Could be as simple as that. So anything you'd like to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So once you've picked your six movements with your object, like Ella's demonstrating now, and um, you can then think of transitions. So how is the first movement going to go to the next movement. Can that be a spin? Can that be an overreach as far as you can reach onto your head? Any ideas of transitions? And then this will create a mini phrase that you can use within your own work or just a nice exploration with objects. So you don't always get to see objects in action. I think it's really important to think about how objects and props within performance can really enhance your work. So let's all think about our first movement. So we, I'm going to do this movement. And let's go hers. And then your second one. And just very simple. Your third. And your fourth. And we'll go back and start. So number one. Number two. Number three, number four, number five, and number six. So we'll go through the part again. So we go one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five, and we've got six. And now you just need to think of small transitions a reach, a turn, any of these, and then that will form your phrase. And this can be added with any music you'd like. Um, so yeah, try and get exploring, get creative, think of different areas you can do in your own house with the object, and we can't wait to see what the final outcome will look like. Thank you very much. Everyone, can't wait to see the videos. Bye. Bye.